Welcome back to GamecocksOnline.com. I'm joined by head volleyball coach Tom Mendoza as he gets ready for his first SEC weekend leading the Gamecocks. And coach, you had a weekend off because of the storm last weekend, so kind of an unusual way to get into conference play, but how do you feel the team responded that time off? Yeah, hopefully we used it to our advantage. Uh, like you said, it doesn't happen very often, but um, you know, instead of having to prep for three matches, we were able to focus a little bit more on ourselves and uh, you know, get bodies 100% healthy and, and you know, find some areas of our game that we need to improve heading into SEC play. So, uh, you know, hopefully we handled it as well as possible, and, and we think we're ready to go. Nine and one after non-conference play, a lot of good to take away. But what are some things that you kind of learned from that? 10 match stretch that you're kind of hoping will make the team stronger heading into conference play? Well, I think the one thing we, we knew going in was that consistency was going to determine our success this year. And, and I think uh, for the most part, we handled that well. Uh, I thought second weekend we got a little sloppy, but the first and the third weekend, uh, you know, we, we played consistently for the most, for most part those, those two weekends. So uh, that's going to be our focus moving forward. And I think, you know, as much as it determined our success in the non-conference play, it'll determine our success in SEC play. If we can stay steady and give ourselves a chance to win every night and, and make teams have to play at a high level, to beat us, then I really like our chances. You've got a veteran team that's kind of used to the, the rigors of SEC play. Do you find that the intensity level, the focus level has gone up in this week, kind of getting ready for this opening weekend? You know, it, it goes both ways. You know, in some ways, volleyball is, is volleyball. You know, it, it's 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 about taking care of the things that that are on your side of the net and, and how well we can execute as a group and how well we, you know, work together and communicate and, and uh, ha handle uh, tough stretches of play and respond to them. Um, you know, so so we don't want to get too caught up in the fact that it's SEC time, but at the same uh, at the same component, this is this is what we signed up for, and, we, and this is why we want to challenge ourselves to play uh, at the highest level and play against uh, really good SEC teams. So, uh, you know, we're, we're excited about it, but at the same time, we, we still want to focus on the things uh, that, are, that, are, you know, that we talk about every day in practice, whether that's an SEC team or, or any other match of the year. You've got Mississippi State coming in Friday night and uh, new head coach, a lot of newcomers. What have you seen on film from them that kind of you think will be the key to uh, coming away with a victory tomorrow night? Yeah, they're, they're a scrappy team. They, uh, you know, they if they're, if they're in system, they they have uh, some athletes that can put the ball away, uh, but they're comfortable playing uh, a little bit a little bit scrappier, um, a little bit more defensive oriented. Uh, you know, and we can match that style, but we want to try and play a little bit cleaner, take advantage of when we have uh, ch you know chances to put the ball away uh, and, and execute offensively. Uh, so I think if, if if we can stay clean on our side. Uh, we should have some advantages in those matchups, uh, but we have to match their intensity and, and their uh, scrappiness on the defensive end as well. And you wrap up the weekend at home again on Sunday against LSU. Uh, obviously, Taylor Bannister is a very imposing threat offensively, but how else do you think you can kind of attack the Tigers and, and come away with that win? Yeah, uh, Taylor's a great player, but I, I think she's equally dangerous in the fact that you can get caught up and especially some, she's got some pretty impressive plays. And, and if we let those uh, impressive plays affect us, you know, in the rest of the points, then I think she has the d double the effect. Um, so, you know, she's going to get some good kills. We've got some players on our side of the net that get impressive kills as well. Uh, and, and we're going to try to you know, make sure that we're focusing on the other areas of our game uh, and, and not giving them extra points uh, because we're trying to do too much to, to stop her. So, uh, but yeah, we're, I, I think that'll be a great matchup. Uh, we're excited about two home matches in front of our crowd. I think they're going to be uh, a huge factor in, in trying to hold uh, hold our home court advantage and, and hopefully we uh, give ourselves a chance both matches and uh, come away 2-0. But uh, right now, you know, LSU will take care of itself. Right now, 100% of our focus is on Friday night against Mississippi State.